Food Truck Friday, and we're celebrating the country of Brazil with Churrasco's Food Truck. Shannon Lanier has more. You know I love Fridays because we always have Food Truck Fridays, and today we're with a Brazilian food truck, Churrasco's, and Oscar is the owner of this food truck. But Oscar, first of all, you got to tell me, what is the difference between Mexican food and Brazilian food? Well, both they they good, but at this part of the Brazilian food is all grilled meats. From chicken, beef, pork, lamb, goat, sausage, everything. So what made you want to start a Brazilian food truck? Uh, because this is a unique concept for Houston, and we love all this concept. Uh, we, we love grilled meats. We love barbecue. Okay, well, educate us on some of your more popular meals and what and they entail. I think everybody knows that the most popular is the picanha, and we start doing the picanha sandwich, which is the top sirloin, and then the, the Brazilian okay, bowl. The Bra same thing, the but same meat, but different way to serve. A little more Brazilian with the rice, uh, fresh salad, vinegar, vegetable, fried plantains, and sometimes with the feijoada. Oh, you gotta have that. And I don't think you can go to a Brazilian restaurant without a little plantain, right? How did you prepare these? Yours, deep fry, and a lot of love. Mm, I think I can taste the love within these. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. So. Would you say it was difficult to start a Brazilian restaurant because most people may not be familiar with the cuisine? Yes, people don't know uh, how to eat. People don't know how to how to call. People don't know how to order. You're right. I wouldn't know what to order a lot of times. So, what are these, for example? We call coxinhas, which is the most popular appetizer in Brazil. Is chicken, flour, and potato. Mm. And it's really good. And a lot of love. So what do you think is the hardest part of opening a restaurant with a unique cuisine? Because nobody knows. You have to, you have to educate the people. You have to explain every single new customer, new face, like at the same thing for, for days and days and days and then months. And <laughs> but do you find out once they realize what it is and what to order, they keep coming back? Yes, that's why we're still in business almost nine years. Wow, well that's why I'm going to keep coming back to this restaurant because this is amazing. We're going to be back in just a little bit with more Food Truck Friday and he's going to tell us about the pros and cons of opening an international unique cuisine. Shannon Lanier, CW39 Houston. Hey guys, this is Oscar Santella from the Churrasco Food Truck and this is the only Rodicio barbecue experience in Houston, Texas. Check this out. Truck Friday, by the way, and we're celebrating the country of Brazil with Churrasco Food Truck. Shannon Lanier has more. We've got a treat for you today. We are highlighting the only Brazilian food truck in Houston, and Oscar is the owner of Churrasco. So, Oscar, we talked earlier about how difficult it is to come up with all this amazing food and educate people about it. So, I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of owning a food truck with an international cuisine. What are some of the pros you would say? I think the first was the family business. We started this family business. That's is, that was, was the first exciting pro to getting started. Some people would say working with the family is a con, but we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll say it's a pro for today. Okay, what else? <laughs> yeah. Second, we start offering a little part of the rich cuisine from Brazil. That was, was uh, a, a good hit for the Houston. And then, Another, another pro was like uh, make rich the, the options in Houston because Houston is, is so great on food because you can get food from all around the world. Yeah. And on that time was the Brazilian food missing. Yeah, and this food, I mean, it looks amazing and seeing all the unique things that you guys have, like this over here, what is under this pot you're gonna show us? Oh, we have here, um, the, the, we call uh, picanha recheada, which is, um, 
uh, the top sirloin, the most popular meat uh, we use, and we just feed it a uh, grill. But first, we we fill this with mozzarella. Oh wow! Look at that. That is beautiful. Mozzarella, peppers, onions, garlic. Well, see, I think being able to taste all this stuff is definitely one of the pros of working with this company. So while I taste this, tell me more about some of the cons that are associated with an international cuisine. The cons is uh, people think uh, the food, the food truck menus have to be cheap. They they know happy or they know able to understand we have. Uh, Ex expenses. We, we have a business to run, so sometimes yes. it's a little bit more uh, costly to get this prime meat. Yes, because we're serving grilled meats uh -huh. and many other co concepts, no matter what, they serving high quality produce okay. in the food truck. What else would you say? I say um, the daily the daily use uh, problems we can get during during moving from the store from the storage to the place we, we, where we serve. So like transportation on the food truck. Yes, okay. transportation, accident, flat tire, like uh, the employee got sick, uh, you know? Just the management side of yes. it Yes, and the other con is like uh, we pay, we pay sometimes more uh, fees in the cities or, or counties oh. than the brick and mortars. Mm. Like uh, the permit for the annual, yeah. uh, for the permit to, uh, to run in the food truck, it's expensive that brick and mortar. I also think some concerns that everybody has to worry about if they're going to be a food truck owner, so you have to watch out for that. Yes. But again, at least you get to eat all this great food while you're dealing with those cons and yes. some of those pros, right? Okay, Oscar. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Much luck with Churrasco's food truck, the only Brazilian food truck in town. Can I just eat this just like this? Yes, sir. Okay, just like this. Shadow near CW39 Houston. No wait, weather and traffic.